Hey there guys, it's Zach here from InBeta and welcome back to another video. Now today we're taking a look at Windows 10 build 10056. This build includes a number of features and enhancements over the last leaked preview build which was 10051. So uh, jumping straight in, the first noteworthy change in this build are the updates to the user interface. As you can see down here on the taskbar, the taskbar is now transparent. There's also a new task view button which when clicked on changes slightly which is pretty nice. Cortana, as you see here, her search UI, search bar is now a lot more button. It now fits in the taskbar pretty nicely, reaches the top and bottom, and is also a bit longer. Uh, Cortana still works much like you would expect in this build, other than that. Uh, this icon here has changed slightly. And there is uh, also a bunch of different options here, so find a song and help. I imagine find a song was, if you were playing music, she would find a song. But since I'm not playing music right now, she won't find anything. The notification area is now black, or dark, sorry, and slightly transparent. Um, this is probably in light of the, op of the rumoured option, which would allow you to have either a light mode or a dark mode uh, in Windows 10. This is definitely the dark version of the notification center, one we haven't seen yet, so that's pretty cool. Jumping into settings, there's a few new settings. Also up here, the, the title bar has changed just slightly. The icons are a bit more... Uh, touch stuff if you will. If we go into personalize you'll see here there's a few new options you can change the background here so let's change it to that one because that's a nice background. Uh, you can choose how it fits and stuff so on and so forth. Going to colors you can change how the colors works with it you can change change how the theme works so you can make it so you automatically pick a color for my background. Show color on taskbar and start menu doing that will make your taskbar and start menu the same color as your background and you can also change whether the start menu is transparent. Speaking of the start menu in this build it has been updated a fair bit uh, as you can see here it's now resizable which is pretty great that's something what many people have been asking for and you can also resize it horizontally as well so if we click here we can just resize it like that make it bigger and smaller so the whole resizing thing is finally back. Uh, there, is, there are also some new apps, although these were in the last build as well, the new calendar and the new mail app, which work great. Uh, no people app yet, that's still broken in this build. Uh, weather looks like a slightly different colour, maybe this is a new weather app. When it loads I will show you, but it's taking some time right now. Yes, this is a brand new weather app and it's universal with hamburger menus and stuff, which is great. Works much like you would expect any other app to work. You get your forecast, news, maps, historical weather, favourites, and you've got your account up there as well. Let's see what else is new. The start menu has crashed, and that's a common occurrence in this build. The start menu is not stable at all, which is a shame because other than that, this build is pretty nice. Um, this is all new, and again, dark here in light of the whole light dark theme. And this, the new clock UI is now on by default, so as you can see here, much a lot updated a fair bit for Windows 10, much like the battery icon which I can't actually show you here, and the networks thing. So since the start menu has crashed, I'm going to have to restart Explorer, or oh, maybe it's back now. Yes, it's back. Uh, there are a bunch of nice user, uh, sorry, animations when using the Windows 10 technical preview in tablet mode. So if we go to the start menu, You'll see the the tiles sort of float in really nicely and Cortana is enabled by default. The power button is now down here and that's the same for the, when you're not running in the uh, tablet mode as well. So if you come out of full screen, you can see the power button is down here and works like you expect, just more closer to the start, start button, which is what a bunch of people were asking for. The drop downs are all black as well, like I said, again, turning as a result of the dark theme being enabled in this build. Uh, there is no option to change it to light yet, so that is something missing, which I imagine will be available in a future build, but as of right now it's just it's just not here. So if we turn it off, see, when you turn the start menu transparency off, the taskbar also turns into something that isn't just, uh, transparent, so keep that in mind. And that's really about it for this build. So a number of UI updates and that's about it. And that's fairly good because this is uh, preparing for the release candidate build which they are, which Microsoft are planning to release in uh, at the end of the month at build. So uh, there you have it guys, a quick look at Windows 10 build 10056. Thanks so much for watching and I shall see you in the next one. Bye bye.